Pegasia, activate Project Pegasus. HUD screen on. This is Navami Nakasatri Adiraj Royal Thai Air Force Academy. We are Pegasus, and now we are going to introduce our competition team. Introducing competition team. Academ Kangon San Krung, role as safety pilot and aircraft maintenance. Experience, first place SUAS 2022. Academ Nat Moratev Uttakam, role as ground control station operator. Experience, first place SUAS 2022. And Academ Phu Min Metanon, role as ground control station operator. UAS Overview A Pegasus O2 is a modified carbon fiber agricultural hexa rotor driven by 6 motors and 28 inches propellers to fly towards the mission time and distance. The Pegasus O2 is powered by 4 of lithium ion semi solid state 6 cell batteries and has the maximum takeoff weight of 55.1 pounds. To complete the mission task autonomously, the team uses Pixhawk Cube Orange as a flight controller, connect with near 3 GPS as a positioning system. Our communication system runs on three radio frequencies, 900 MHz, 2.4 GHz, and 5 GHz. We also increase safety pilot's situational awareness by using an RC controller that can display aircraft status and video stream by achieving object detection, classification, and localization. The team uses Canon US M6 Mark II, housing on our customized gimbal and connected with small single board computer to trigger shutter, real-time video stream, and image transfer. All data are processed on ground control system, including real-time flight path OCR, obstacle avoidance, and real-time UDLC. We created a system of server to share our data continuously. For the airdrop, the team designed airdrop mechanisms that are capable of delivering payloads without causing damage by utilizing our mechanical knowledge. Technical design, requirement and acceptance criteria. Hey, Pegasia, what are the key requirements and how can these be tailored to best? Yes, sir. The mission demonstration score is divided into four components. Timeline, 10%. Operator skill, 30%. Airdrop precision, 50% and operational excellence, 10%. Teams have 15 minutes for setup, a 30-minute mission, and 10 minutes for teardown. One timeout is allowed but incurs a penalty of 20% of timeline points. Exceeding the designated time incurs a penalty of 5% per second. Teams must have a dedicated safety pilot, and GCS operator and the UAS must avoid collisions, detect objects stay within the flight boundary and successful airdrops land within 15 feet of corresponding ODLC objects. Judges will evaluate factors such as professionalism, communication, responsiveness, and safety measures. Recommended airspeed is 12.5 meters per second, an accurate positioning system, well-calibrated imaging system, and precise geolocation algorithm and well-practice is essential for success. Alternative considered. In our quest to design and construct the Pegasus O2, we explored various alternatives. We evaluate three types of aircraft, multi-rotor, fixed wing, and hybrid, to find the most suitable configuration that could fulfill the high maneuverability requirements for airdrop tasks. Why hybrid planes seem like a good option, they lack hovering time if they carried large payload, and fixed wing planes offered long flight time but limited maneuverability. In the end, we determined that multi rotor would be the best choice based on our requirements and trade offs. At first, we had planned to use a sling load with a DC motor for the drop mechanism, but it would have added too much weight to the aircraft exceeding the maximum takeoff weight limit of 55 pounds. To power the aircraft, we first used a lithium polymer battery that provides excellent performance due to its heavy weight. It makes the aircraft has limited flight time. Hence, we explored alternative and found that lithium-ion semi-solid state batteries would be a better choice as they are lighter than lithium polymer batteries and can offer a longer flight time. Aircraft 
the team considered that the Pegasus O2 airframe must have great maneuverability, high payload capacity, cost effectiveness, and compact design. The team uses modified carbon fiber agricultural hexarotor because of its lightweight, high tensile strength, low thermal expansion, and exceptional durability. According to the finite element analysis, the material of the aircraft can handle apply load and stress. An aircraft is driven by six high-power efficiency motors, model U82KV100, which uses silver winding instead of copper winding that provide 30% lower heat temperature. The carbon fiber propellers have a 28 inches diameter and a pitch of 9.2 degrees, powering by four of six cells lithium-ion semi-solid state batteries. Connect two batteries in series, then connect a pack of two in parallel, so it gives the maximum Maximum capacity of 32,000 milliamps. To increase safety pilot situational awareness, we decided to use RC controller, which can display an aircraft status and real-time video streaming. Autopilot. We created an autonomous system that reads waypoints from a paper and saves them into a file. The system uses an OCR UI based on the Easy OCR model, allowing for manual editing of waypoints if necessary. Pixel Cube Orange was chosen as the flight controller because it's high reliability and powerful system. It has triple redundant IMUs, dual balance gyroscopes, and redundant barometers, which provide backup in case of errors, enhancing the safety and reliability of the flight. External GPS module is included in the system. Additionally, it supports real-time kinematic positioning, which maximizes the accuracy up to less than an inch. For this level of accuracy, is critical for autonomous flight missions. Communication the communication system between the aircraft and ground control station. It needs to maintain reliable connection throughout the flight to ensure the aircraft can receive commands and send telemetry data, also allowing for accurate ODLC during autonomous flights. So we created our communication system, an antenna tracker, to ensure uninterrupted communication between the server and ground control stations. Our communication system is running on three main radio frequencies including 900MHz, 2.4GHz, and 5GHz. 900MHz frequency is used by RFD900X for controlling the UAS from the ground station and activating drop mechanism. 2.4GHz frequency is used by Hearlink for controlling the UAS by a safety pilot and video streaming by an ODLC camera. And 5 GHz frequency is for video streaming by an avoidance camera. We also created a system of server to share our data File transferring is done by using FTP or file transfer protocol, which uses a computer as a server to gather files from individual source in the network. One of the primary advantage of FTP is its ability to handle large files and also its widespread support, but has to maintain the connection between server and individual source. The antenna tracking system is designed to ensure uninterrupted communication between the server. The antenna operates by receiving latitude, longitude, and altitude from its center files, and then calculating the necessary rotation angles based on the Earth axis. These commands are sent through VNC Fever and are written in Python. To execute the commands, a pixel is used to control the servers, which operate in fully automatic mode. The yaw axis is designed to rotate up to 180 degrees, while the pitch axis can rotate up to 90 degrees. To cover the entire field, to determine the initial position of the antenna, a GPS module is attached to the pixel. Imaging an ODLC. To achieve ODLC in flight autonomously, the team main priority is reliable and accurate system that can be used in airdrop mission. To obtain high-resolution image in real-time, Canon EOS M6 Mark II is the most suitable camera due to its 32.5 megapixels image sensor, wide ISO range, fast processing unit, and lightweight. The onboard processing unit can retrieve image from camera via USB-C cable, and the video streaming is captured in real-time. The camera is attached to a customized gimbal controlled by base cam electronics which allow us to extract the camera angle to calculate the object's position. The gimbal is designed and simulated in SOLIDWORKS, made of 3D printed ABS that weighs only 14.1 ounces, including camera and motor. The team uses YOLO V8 algorithm for accurate object detection after capturing an image. After capturing an image, YOLO V8 detects objects and crops the region of interest 
A pre-trained CNN model is then classified the shape of objects. K means algorithm extract the color, and ECOCR is used for alphabet analysis. Localization is achieved by synchronizing image location with feedback from camera's hot shoe using ground sample distance method to find actual distance and GeoPy library to calculate geodesic distances. After analysis, the algorithm sends data for the drop mission. Finally, to reduce manual annotation time and increase our AI performance, we created a dataset generator, including geometric shapes dataset generator and autonomous annotation object detection generator. All 13 classes of shapes are generated separately, up to 2,000 per class, and more than 30,000 images for object detection. Obstacle avoidance. Obstacle avoidance is an essential feature as it helps prevent collision and damage to the aircraft as well as potential harm to people or property in the surrounding area. We developed the Mastermind algorithm to run with YOLO V8 object detection and video streaming via the 360 camera aka Instar 1X2. When another aircraft is detected, the algorithm captures two frames to determine if it is approaching, then calculates a route vector and creates a new route to avoid collision. The algorithm also prevents from flying out of bounds by creating a vector from the boundary line. This ensures the aircraft takes the most suitable path to avoid obstacles and stay within bounds. Airdrop Per the rules that require the UAS to be able to drop five payloads safely and easy to retrieve, our main goal is to create a drop mechanism that is both lightweight and capable of providing enough force to prevent the bottle from breaking upon impact with the ground. We want to ensure that our design is really effective. We utilized our mechanical knowledge to craft each mechanism out of aluminum using a lead machine. They conducted simulation to measure torque value. Our design included a pulley to freely rotate and a gear to prevent payloads from falling too quickly, as well as a gear on the right side to secure payloads and keep payloads safe after landing. During testing, we discovered that our material was wearing down slightly, so we implemented the anodizing method to prevent erosion and reduce friction. To attach the drop mechanism to the aircraft, we used a carbon fiber plate and a 3D printed lock to stabilize the mechanism and prevent any unwanted swinging during autonomous flight. This design also allows for easy retrieval of the mechanism after a successful airdrop. Safety, risks and mitigation. The team's priority is safety. For hardware, all subsystems are tested in the lab and to also simulate force in each component, then test other conditions in the small aircraft, aka cockroach, if it performed correctly. Then we test that on Pegasus O2. Making the Pegasus O2 to fly effectively, the team tuning the flight controller including fully loaded and without payloads. In the software developmental process, we first tested in software in the loop simulation to eliminate bug and unsafety maneuver. Flight readiness. For DLC, with our own dataset generator, a trained model of object detection and classification has a mean average precision of 96.4% and 93.2% respectively. The team tested localization algorithm by placing an object randomly and measure a coordinate using a mobile phone GPS. 120 objects were tested and has an average error of 7 feet for airdrop. The first prototype drop mechanism was tested from second floor balcony. With 70 trials, 16 times were success. After verifying errors, we tested with Pegasus O2. 76% of payloads are survived. Our communication system are tested in the lab in real flight. Our communication were performed correctly. We also tested full imaging system, including camera, gimbal, streaming device, and antenna tracker. All data was streamed to the ground station in flight. For the aircraft, the Pegasus O2 airframe can tolerate forces from each component. We also tested lithium-ion semi-state batteries. The results show us a reliable performance. To ensure the autonomous flight, we conducted more than 30 autonomous flights, and all flights were performed without any manual control. A design custom autonomous path algorithm captured reports from a paper performed accurately. With 298 waypoints achieved out of 300 waypoints in obstacle avoidance tasks, we tested with our own custom simulation software to simulate aircraft in program. 
the master min algorithm has been tested in over 100 flights, and all flights are completed without hitting obstacles. Finally, the Pegasus O2 is the UAS that can easily navigate through tight spaces with high payload capacity and has ability to maintain its precise location with less than an inch of errors. Additionally, key features of the Pegasus O2 are equipped with AI system that can detect objects and obstacles, thus allows it to drop payloads safely and accurately at their intended destination and gradually reducing the risk of collision and ensuring safe and also reliable operation. Proof of safe flight. Our safety pilot named Air Cadet Kankon San Krung, aka Non. We tested our aircraft against a set of rigorous requirements, which included performing a manual flight demonstrating takeoff. reaching a distance of 1,000 feet from the safety pilot. And landing successfully. We also conducted an autonomous flight transitioning to manual mode at a distance of 200 feet from the safety pilot. And manually landing the aircraft Finally, tested the aircraft's autonomous flight performance, confirming that it can meet all flight performance, including 12 miles travel distance at fully loaded in a single flight. Fly waypoints with less than an inch of errors and has a turn radius rate of 20 degrees per second. And tested our aircraft to fly above 75 feet and under 200 feet. Mission testing. Okay, here's our plan. Our team spent 10 minutes to go through our pre-flight checklist when our systems are operational. Mission commander will begin a 5 minute pre-mission brief to 3 operators. After that, our commander will execute the mission. A sequence of waypoints will upload through OCR's UI. After takeoff, the aircraft will follow waypoints while avoiding other aircraft. When the last waypoint is reached, we begin an ODLC task, which including five sample objects. A collected data will be transferred to ground station and send a drop waypoints autonomously in flight. After the aircraft reaches, a mission commander will hit a trigger to drop payload, which is labeled as a description of an ODLC. After all of the airdrops are successfully landed, then the team uses smart RTL to navigate back to the starting point. After landing, the team performs the post-flight check before bringing the aircraft back to the tent. By preventing errors, we created a checklist to our operators, which cover normal and emergency procedure. We conducted 10 full mission tests. Thus, our full mission scores are rising in every flight. Our team got the highest score of 74%, which separates to 10% from timeline, 25% from operators, 30% from airdrop, and 9% from operational excellence. System shutting down.
and this is Pegasus.